My name is Maureen O'Rourke, and I'm the dean of the law school here at Boston University. And it is a great privilege and honor for me today to welcome you here uh, as dean of the law school, but also on behalf of the Boston University wider community. So it's my honor to welcome you to our conference, Justice for Hedgehogs, a conference on Ronald Dworkin's forthcoming book. I don't have to tell you if you're here, but I will. Uh, that Professor Dworkin is, is widely viewed as the most important legal philosopher of our time. Professor Brian Leiter recently conducted a poll asking, pro yes, don't laugh. Sometimes he actually does useful things. Um, asking the question, who are the most important legal th thinkers in American law of the past century? And Professor Dworkin came in third, behind Oliver Wendell Holmes, Jr., and Richard Posner. And I should note that, uh, yes, yeah, so, Take it for what it is and from where it comes. But nevertheless, uh, I should note that Oliver Wendell Holmes Jr. gave his speech, The Path of the Law, at Boston University School of Law. So we expect similar great things today uh, from Professor Dworkin. His book is incredibly ambitious and characteristically provocative, and we're privileged and delighted to have Professor Dworkin himself here to give the keynote lecture. We're privileged to have an outstanding group of law professors, philosopher, and economists to comment on his book as well. And I'm very confident that the papers and proceedings, which will be published in the Boston University Law Review, will make a significant contribution to scholarship. I would be remiss if I didn't acknowledge and give my sincere thanks to a number of people. And I have to start, of course, with Jim Fleming, who is our conference organizer extraordinaire. So Jim, thank you so much. And also, I want to thank Jim and the other members of our law school faculty for participating in the conference, Hugh Baxter, Bob Bone, David Lyons, Linda McLean, Ken Simons, and Rob Sloan. At Boston University, we're proud of the depth of our faculty in constitutional theory, jurisprudence, and political philosophy. And there's a page in the brochure that highlights just some of their scholarship. We're also privileged to have with us four colleagues from the Boston University Department of Philosophy, Aaron Garrett, Daniel Starr, Suzanne Sridhar, and Candace Delmas. And in a way, this conference is a living realization of President Bob Brown's vision for the university, which is a commitment to one BU and to the whole being greater than the sum of its parts. We are very lucky to be part of a university with so much talent across so many disciplines. And so it's a great pleasure for us to be able to demonstrate just some of that today. And finally, I want to thank all of the people in our Office of Communications and Marketing, uh, Mary Gallagher, our director, Andrea Larson, our event planner, and all of the staff here who are, are working so hard and have been working so hard to make today a truly special event. And finally, I'm especially honored to welcome Professor Dworkin, who, as I said before, will give the keynote address. That will be at 11. And we also look forward to his response to the conference commentators tomorrow afternoon at 2. Now I'm going to turn things over to Professor Jim Fleming. Professor Fleming is the Honorable Frank R. Kennison Distinguished Scholar in Law here at the Law School. He received his JD from Harvard Law School and a PhD in politics from Princeton University. He's been a faculty fellow in ethics in the Harvard University Center for Ethics and the Professions. And he's organized or co-organized many conferences in constitutional theory. But we've all already agreed before it's even started that this is his best work ever. <laughs> and, and I'll just mention what I have said in writing to uh, Jim. Jim joined our faculty after many years at Fordham. He joined our faculty in 2007, and I can't think of a time in which one person has made such a difference to an institution in such a short time, and so I'm delighted to turn things over to Jim. <laughs> 